Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce Edwards tonight. I just thought I would uh, share with you um, this month's focus on uh, how you can actually build your business and be successful as a creative entrepreneur. As most of you know, I'm an artist, an author, a speaker. Uh, I do everything. Um, I co-host a couple shows. I've got two podcasts. And so I'm a very busy guy and uh, creativity is what I, what I do. Uh, but you know, people think uh, a lot of creative entrepreneurs think that it's all about the talent. That once you have the talent, the rest of it comes. And I can tell you that's not how it really works. The talent is part of it. Once you figure out what it is you do or how you do it or what you want to do, that's one part. And then the ambition comes in. Now the definition of ambition is uh, a drive to succeed or a drive to do something. That's the ambition. So once you have that talent, you basically have to put the ambition to it, but that still will not get you to success. Ambition is only the first piece of that puzzle. The next step is action. If you don't take the action, then you're not gonna succeed. So think of it as a formula. Talent plus ambition plus, um, talent plus ambition plus action equals success. And I can tell you, I talk to a lot of creative entrepreneurs on my shows, and one that I wanna talk about is uh, Grenville Pinto. Grenville Pinto is a violinist, he's a musician, by Cashing In On Creativity podcast. And he was telling me, now he has a background in marketing from his college days. Uh, and he says, you know what, thank gosh for that because he uses it every day. Now Grenville is a very, very accomplished violinist. And you can find him doing weddings, corporate events, and he has his own music albums out. So he does everything from playing solo shows for a wedding to uh, being on stage with some of the best names in the world. And he's a very, very talented musician here in the Toronto, Ontario area and surrounding, um, you know, our US and everything as well. But he's a very big name. And when I talked to him on the podcast, if you want to go check this out, go to CashingOnCreativityPodcast.com and you can uh, find the episode for Grenville Pinto. And in that, we talked about how much of it is at his stage in his career and when he was building his business, how much of it was developing his craft and how much of it is building the business. And he said that it's up to 95% of his time is spent marketing, connecting, networking, building those businesses. He still plays every day, and you know, that's true for a lot of artists. I'm the same way. I draw every day because I'm a cartoonist and I love to draw. I write every day and I speak every day. Those are the three things I focus on. And I do that because I need to keep that I need to keep improving on my craft no matter what stage I am. I've, we've been in business for 12 years, but you can never stop marketing or building. So if you're thinking of getting your creative business going, you're not sure maybe how to go about doing it, you may think that you have the talent and you're now waiting for those customers to come in and you're finding they're not coming in, you need to put the rest of the puzzle together. The next step is ambition. And I've talked to a lot of people who think that ambition is enough. It's not enough. You have to put the action. So talent, ambition, and action to get you business success. Hope that helps. Good luck with your business.